Okay, YouTubers, it's Joe from Mauritanian TV, back on Mars again. Another quick game of Interplanetary I Spy. I'm going to try and keep this one real short. There's only one potential object here that we're going to be looking at, and we're on MSL 917, Sol 917, Mars Science Laboratory. We're at the, on the Gigapan here. You can get this from the, uh, the actual uh, JPL website, but in fact, it's better to look at it on here because it's already been cleaned up a bit. And Neville T's done a good job here and removed the nasty grid that was over it before. So you will see it better from here. But I will provide links for both. Okay, and the area we want to look at on this particular Gigapan is up here on the left one here. Just here, uh, near the top right corner. I zoom into that. I'll go full screen. And there's what looks like basically uh, an old case or TV perhaps just here you can see this curve and this nice curved edge to it here and it's another one here that matches it which is parallel and what looks like some kind of handle or, or something on top of it here I'll zoom right in now all Nev's done to this is probably he just removed the grid from the image and probably changed the contrast a bit and, and uh, maybe sharpened it a little and it's pretty clear now I do appreciate being a black and white image, is, it doesn't look that great, but in fact these are sometimes better than the colour images um, because there's less distortion in the image. So I took some clips of this. Let's go to the folder here. Here's the actual image uh, that you may get when you download it. This one here or this one. It appears in about two or three images, possibly four or five actually. But the, the better one is this one. Uh, Sol 917, I'll have a link to this below, and it's in the top right corner here, and you can see it here, but with the grid on it, you're not going to see much detail, so <laughs> it's better to actually get it from the Gigapan, like I've done, and just take a clip from the Gigapan, use your image clipper, or a screenshot, or something like that, um, and here it is, what I did is I, I got it from the Gigapan, and then I took a clip, and basically turned it round slightly, here, to straighten it up so it's more level and it kind of looks like a TV or some kind of case now I'm not saying it's either of those things I'm just saying it looks like one of those things in my mind anyway <laughs> so I, I may call it the TV on Mars or case or something like that not really sure yet um, but I thought it was interesting it may not be either of those things like I said it's probably not but it's shaped like that so that's what I'm going to call it uh, you've got to give these things names of some sort, otherwise they'll just get ignored. And this may turn out to be something important, may not. Um, but judging by the other things that have been found on Mars in recent months and years, an open mind is required when looking at these objects, uh, because people are, I think, far too quick to rule these things out. And we have found many, many things on Mars that do suggest that there was an intelligent civilization living there up until fairly recently. Uh, how recently is a matter of, of debate and discussion. But I took some other clips here. I've got, I'll put these in all in at the end of the video anyway. So I'll show you some of these enhancements where I've, I've just kind of gone over it and give it a color filter there. And I've sort of darkened it. Uh, sorry, I've darkened it a bit and played with the contrast. And it kind of looks like a screen here. Uh, and this rock in front seems to have something coming off of it. I don't. I really don't know what that is. Um, and you can see there, I've darkened it, played with the contrast, and really gone in dark there. But it looks like a kind of broken glass screen or some different type of material. This front part here looks like a different type of material to this on the side. It's a completely different colour, a different density of, uh, of luminosity. So these are two different materials together. And you don't get that in a normal rock. Normal rocks are made of one type of rock, generally. Um, you don't generally get two completely different looking materials next to each other like this with a nice symmetrical edge and, and side to it here. So is it a case? Could it be a suitcase? Could it be a TV? Could it be something else? If you have any, any suggestions to what it might be, leave a comment below. Uh, there's the, yeah there's the uh, raw image again so that was it for this one really real quick and short let's have a look at the other enhancement here is around the other way uh, and zooming in too far isn't going to help anybody I, I see a lot of people 
posting on uh, the various groups online who were posting images where they've zoomed right into something and saying it's a little guy or something. It's impossible to deter determine what you're looking at if you zoom in too far. You have to give these things a bit of space and step back a little bit and then you can determine the shape and scale of what you're looking at. Let's go back to the Gigapan. This one's actually quite good because you can see it's kind of, it's got a big dent in it here or broken. Um, and this is a lot darker than the other, so you can actually see the edges better around here. That is not a normal rock. This has been manufactured uh, and, and designed and cut, perhaps. Um, it's not a normal, random, eroded piece of rock. Mother Nature does not fuse two completely different coloured materials together and then carve them into a, a shape of a, a TV or, or suitcase. Um, that's the simple fact of it. Uh, there it is again. I've enhanced the whole image this time. It's, it's a shame because there, there's this rock here, it's quite large rock here, which is obscuring half of it. And I think that's what this stuff here is. I don't know if that's actually joined to it. I just think it's in front of it, um, which is a shame because we're missing half of the object. The object comes right over to here. You can see the other edge of it here. And I'm sure the other edge would be the same shape as this one, if we could see it um, in a symmetrical, uh, case-like shape. So there we go. Um, and if you're new to my channel and you haven't yet realised that there was life on Mars, uh, then do take a look at some of my older videos like this one. Uh, this one was, a, 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 I think, released about a week or so ago. And this is a giant sphinx, which is hundreds of feet long from here to here. Here's the head. And um, when you have objects like this, then it's pretty obvious to anyone with a, with a modicum of sense that somebody built these things, which means there must have been a civilization on Mars, possibly more than one. Uh, so if there are sphinxes and there are giant ziggurats and pyramids and building uh, ruins all over the place, like there are, then there must have been people there to build these things. They did not build themselves. And these people must have had cases, they must have, they probably had communication devices, they probably had TVs, they probably had computers. They may well have had all the things we have and more. So there will be lots of inanimate objects lying around, uh, wreckage and, and occupation debris, things like clothing, items that were owned by people, like you know, perhaps like radios and TVs, that kind of thing, technology. And I really do think this is what NASA are there for. They're there to, to find pieces of technology that can be recovered and brought back to Earth and perhaps reverse engineered. Uh, so there we go, folks. Uh, I'll put the clips of this in at the end for you to have a, a closer cut. But you can just look at it on the Gigapan. It's pretty clear already. You really don't have to in, even enhance this. You've just got to zoom in and have a look. You can, set, you can tell that that is not a natural object. And that this side of it here, even though it's in shadow, this face here is actually much lighter than this side, which is not so much in shadow. So that says to me that these are two different types of material because the luminosity is very different. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.